In this video, we will be downloading and installing a SQL Server and a SQL Server Management Studio. So let's type SQL Server download. Let's go to the official website. So you can see there are many options and there is one option which is called developer. SQL Server 2017 developer is a full featured free edition licensed for use as a development and test database in a non-production environment. <clears throat> so let's download this. Let's right click on the download and run as administrator. We'll choose custom. Let's keep it default and click on install. So I will just pause this video recording until the download is complete. So the package downloading is finished so let's continue with our installation we'll click on installation and we'll click on new SQL server standalone installation We'll keep it default, click on next, I accept the license terms, next. So there's a warning uh, for Windows Firewall. So we can ignore it. We need database engine. So let's just select database engine for now. So we are not working with anything else. I'll click on next. We will keep it as default and click on next. We click on Mixed Mode SQL Server Authentication and give some password. And we'll add current user. Click on Next. And then we'll click on Install.
so the SQL server has been installed successfully so we can close this and we can continue with the installation of SQL Server Management Studio. So we'll click on this install SQL Server Management Tools and see what happens. So we can download this SQL Server Management, St Management Studio in this from this URL. So we will click on this link. So the download is almost complete and it is completed. Let's go to the folder. Again we'll click, right click on it and run as administrator. So let's keep it as default and click on install. So the management studio installation is now complete. We may need to restart the computer to check whether it is installed properly or not. So let's just do that. So the restarting of the machine is now complete. Uh, let's try to open management studio and try to connect to a local, local database and maybe also try to run a simple select query. So in Windows search just type SSMS. So to connect to a local database you just have to type uh, dot and click on connect. So in the object explorer you can see a database folder so if you expand it uh, we can see some system databases. There are four system databases. Let's try to open master and let's try to do a simple select query on this table. So to write a select query you just have to open a new query, you have to click on new query to open up a query editor. <coughs> so we'll write a select query on this table, select star from and also uh, make sure that you are in the right database, you can change the database here. So we'll write select star from dbo.com ms replication options so to execute this query you just have to select this line the select query and click on execute so you can see the results so now sql and ssms is successfully installed 